few poles. Okay, I'm back. I'm just going to pull up the stream. Do, do, do. Alright, there's the stream up. No volume. Alright. We are going to be fishing at Blue Crab for you guys watching today. Um, Are you all set up? I'm just taking all kinds of poles. I'm, I got a small float, a big bottom. Uh, I brought big ones this time, and then I'll go back and grab little ones for the little fish. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do... a couple more setups I want to do. And... and then I'll do large minnows on these two. And then probably a buzz bait. And nymph on this one for poops and giggles. 
Oh man, I saw the rainbow slug in here. Hopefully, real doesn't see that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll do black on black. I think today. All uh, right, so. There is room in my room if you want to join yet, so. Okay. I'm going to go sit at that one spot I never sit at and everybody does. I'm going to go sit there and get some fish. Got here. Um, that far one is a drum. Red, black drum. Oh, there's gaff tail out here too. Okay. Um, do I need gaff tail? I think I do. I do. Okay, so this is going to be a good spot. Um, do 20, okay. why is there a 5 -0? what in the crackhead is going on? I think we're good here. So behind me too uh, is a uh, if you're trying for a what you thingy doodler. Uh, if you need the striped bass, it is behind me in that deep hole. Okay. Let's see what I need. I need all the gizzard, Chad. All the. Big mouth buffalo. Gizzard sheds at the boat dock. Well, did you bring heavy stuff or later? Did you stay with everything? Hey, I, Rex. I brought, I brought a little bit of everything. Are you joining Rex or no? Are you being a loser face? I need a unique black drum. I need bluegill. Black drum is by me. Brown bullhead, channel cat, a unique snook, a common shiner, a unique largemouth, unique long nose. Long nose won't be hard. I need Oscar and the unique red drum and both sunfish and common and unique show bass. All the flounder. Uh, unique striped bass. Oh, I have to do the flounder as well, too. Common and trophy warmouth. So. so, this is a good spot for the drum. Okay, I got a black drum.
What do you? Oh, you being a loser? Why are you being a loser, Rex? What are you? Are you playing something else or what? Trophy red. Blue crab is a fun waterway. Just missed out on Q3 mobile. Hooked a trophy at 44 seconds. Couldn't land at 23rd and the end. That's about what I got too, Mark. I think that's what place I was. I don't remember now. Ah, uh, cut bait. That way you could get a uni gas tail too if you need that. They're off to the. Do you need a mark, Grizzly? Uh, I got all the gaff tail. I, I've got oh, okay. markers out there. I've got. All right, they're like off to the right in the deep area. Okay. I've got all the gaff top. I just need a. Uh, a unique black drum. Red drum. Okay, yeah. Sometimes they come out quick. Sometimes they're kind of a pain. Once, um, we're just up having. Size would you go with? Six o. Oh. Six. You could do an eight if you want to wait longer, but might as well make some money while you're here too, right? So. Yeah. I was think I had a five on, but I was thinking of going bigger. But okay, just large cut bait. Uni Schnook, I think I needed that. Okay, I think this is a common red drum. I got something decent on that pole. Oh, and I forgot the forward time, of course. <laughs> My tarpon came whizzing in. Be a gaff tail. That is not a gaff tail. I can tell you this is not a gaff tail. I don't know what this would be. I don't think it's big enough to be a unique, but I already got trophies out. Must be two trophies here. Must be two trophies of each species. How's it going, business? <sighs> the and the problem with Q three two mark is it just was streaky. I caught one fish the last forty five minutes, and <clears throat> Pala caught one fish in the first four or hour and fifteen. And then Pala killed it at the end, and I had a decent start. So, it's kind of like, is what it is. I need, I think I need a common schnook yet. Out of all the things to need here. You know, I haven't sat here in forever. Yeah, I ain't neither, really. <laughs> it's a fun spot to sit and just fish. It is. Oh, this could be perfect. What are you? Oh, might be gaff tail heaven. Cha-ching! That was easy. I just need a regular or a little one now. Oh, that has got to be a tiny permit. What the heck? 12? All right, let me... I only caught two more. What the hell? So any unique black 
I got all the snooks. I need a common gaff tail. Okay, I got something. Uni red drum. So I need the uni. Alright, so basically we just need the unis over ah, here. Trophy. Let me put on a 4 0 and cut bait. Cut bait, cut bait, cut bait. Medium cut bait. We'll do medium cut bait. I like going through the motions of like switching what you're going for and stuff too. It'd be tough to do on the little pole, oh, but. Um, let's see, we'll go 100. A PS4 is terrible in the middle, catching quickly at the end, too little, too late. Yeah, I hear, feel your pain on that. Um, actually, it worked out as a blessing in disguise for me. I was a little closer than I wanted to be to making it, but... Good evening. Oh, how's it going, Party Razor? Not bad. We're just doing our catch them all thing here at re-catching all the fish again at um, Blue Crab. Let's get this pull out and do... Oh, that's right. Oh, something was on there. I need a common gaff's tail. That's a trophy, so the next one should be a common. Actually, let's put that down. Throw our now chaser out there so it can go sink while we're doing other stuff. Okay. Let her go down. Your how to catch videos are the best on YouTube. Massive thank you. YD, well, thanks for watching. And let's see. Let's switch this over to medium cut bait on a 2 wheel and see if we can't get that little bastard out of here. Who would have thought it's going to be the regular gas tail that's going to be the one. I could put it on a bottom rod, but my bottom rods, I'm trying to get the big stuff on. Um, and these rods are too big for the gaff's tail, but I'm still going to try it while I'm here. You you need the uni red drum, right? You were saying too? Ah, oh, algae got yeah. the one I need. I need a unique snook too, so... Oh, they're on the right side. They're super easy. Um, if you throw... If you send me a mark, I can send you marks so they're easy for you. They, that schnook is so easy to get here. Okay. And you can yeah. use large minnows, cut bait, pretty much anything. You could probably throw the carpet in there. You could carpet in there and they would take it. Okay. I think that was like the first fish I got. I was thinking I would uh, use a artificial for it while my uh, other poles are sitting there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll take a buzz bait and nymph real easy, too. Boy, it isn't deep as there as I thought it would be. So to the right. Yeah. Well, about the time I get ready, my pole goes off. I got something, but I don't think it's a unique. No, it definitely ain't. Just a common. Buzzbait's underrated. Yeah, they're pretty much 
when a new lake comes out or something. Oop, I might got my common gas tail. Um, when but yeah, when a new lake comes out, that's like the first thing I put on a lure. Yes, got it. Suck it, fish and planet. Sometimes a little fish can be a pain. Actually, at Alaska, just accidentally, I have everything but the um, the young northern pike at Alaska. I need to get. Um, let's do. Oh, did you send a Mark Grizzly? Uh, no, not yet. I was when I get this one in. Alright, so this could be, um... This might be it. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Oh, as I sent you one just in case. It's, you can catch them anywhere, but specifically on the right, because they're not... Are you going to go off or not? Alright, good talk, Paul. Um... <laughs> I got something big. It's taking on my line. <laughs> yep, we're a blue crab, Kevin. We're having a blast just catching some fish. Knocking out our... I want to use... Somebody said... We could throw muscle meat on one. Somebody said something else worked good here, and I forgot. I should check my marks. I bet you it's on my marks. We'll just do it like this. We know that works. Um, frog. I a better pole. I probably got a tarpon or a permit or something. Uh, I don't see. I see a red drum on one. something I probably didn't want to catch <laughs> on, a, on a Zeus. Herpes? <laughs> no. no. I mean, you wouldn't want to catch that. I got a permit. I oh, it's a big I, permit. It's a trophy yeah. or uni. I can see it. Yeah. And I've it might be a those. uni. Yeah, and I got it on the Zeus is the bad part. <laughs> oh, you might be there a little bit. Sand fleas, yeah, I think somebody else mentioned sand fleas. That might be it. I don't have them with me, though. Uh, five spots are dancing with pike, but when the comp comes around, it never get the uni. People are telling me that okay. using the mouse lure now instead of the frog poppers or walkers. I actually use also the topper works good now, too. I've caught three before on the X-Series walker, and the other thing I use the most is the half-ounce X-Series frog. Not the frog popper, but the frog. That that I have good luck with. It's a 3-0. Okay, I just sent you one. Yeah, I sent you that mark for the uni schnook. Oh, did you get oh, it okay. in? Yeah, I it's got trophy. The in. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, there it is. Hope and frustration are your normal baits. Oh my god, I need to steal that line. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's great slugs of course mark none of that slug shit we're only five minutes into the stream <laughs> <laughs> what rod and reel uh, are you using because I'm using a jig winner oh at uh, uh, I use I use the uh, Zeus 270 or 810 with a crack in 8000 reel that way, if I get a big bowfin or some crazy weird shit, it doesn't fight me at all. And you don't have to use a leader if you're using that big a pole. They won't fight hard enough. Bonefish. Did you need that? Uh, I don't think so. There is a bell inside me, and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I think it's the bell off your pole, Grizzly. I think you just picked it up. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to stand behind, so I didn't. Oh, no, 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 no. I was fucking <sighs> around with that. None of that shit actually bothers me. I 
I've got two trophy red drum and two trophy black drum now. So, so it must be one come. must be one uni and two trophies at each spot then, Grizzly, is what I'm thinking. Because okay. I caught two trophy blacks as well. I have something solid on here. I mean, this is actually, I mean, it's got my Ecuador match fucking, might be a uni black or another trophy. I'm not sure. There we go. Not too bad. Not very big, but I'll take it. So we just need the uni red drum here now. Oh, man. Uh, are you, did you throw one over on that Chinook hole or no? I, I'm throwing the artificial over there. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, you can throw a buzzbait nymph over there and get it too. Just you kind of want to go near the surface. Really, Gas Tail? You, I got one of you. Now you guys can quit. Oh, I should have been brought my big doofus boat. Um, because that southern flounder can be caught pretty easily in the middle of the lake. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Yeah, I got my big bottom rod and my uh, big float pole out there for um, drum, and I was throwing artificial trying to get the snook. They come out pretty easy there. Otherwise, you can go in that little closed area at the, up by the boat and get them too. I got a trophy. There you go. That didn't take long. I already got my unique, otherwise I'd be going for it. Yeah. You always catch your butt flounder when you're on a buzz bait? Oh, that's interesting. Trophy gift top. I'm catching everything that I don't need. I wonder if you could program Nightbot to troll the slug guys. <laughs> That'd be uh, hilarious. Uh, would the Solange rod in real work because it would cast farther? Well, you don't need to for you don't need to cast real far there at at Louisiana. None of the spots there I have real far. They can all make it on the Zeus Woods uh, Woodsman. Yeah, that's that's actually where I'm talking about Manning. So like, I'll pull up my map here in a second so you can see this Uni Red Drums being a little butthead though. And it normally isn't that bad. Normally I get the uni red before I get the uni black, but. Another bonefish. Where the hell are you getting the bonefish from? The right? Oh, that's snook spot. Yeah, I swear you're a crackhead. <laughs> Yeah, so right right over here by the barge. Barge is right here. I think. And that's muscle meat. Hmm. <laughs> I wish they had like a little land piece over by that barge. That'd be some good fishing, to be honest, if they did. Mm-hmm. It would. Another coming. Are you in the rain or did you go to the evening? Uh, I moved it to 3 o'clock in the evening. Okay. It's still raining though. Yeah, once it quits raining it'll pick up more. To be honest, you're not catching bad for the at, in the rain though. If that's where you're at. Got him. Yeah, that didn't take long. That's not bad. Nope. You buzz bait nymph? Yep. Yeah. Okay. What else am I looking for? So I have a question about this anti-cheat. Are they going to ban the double account people in comps? And how are they going to prove it's somebody on two accounts because they stopped doing many comps? I did. I mean, that's what the video is about. I, I don't know. There isn't a quick answer for it. 
and yeah, I wish there was a, I don't know, because at my house, we have four people that theoretically play it. They don't play it very often, obviously, but somebody's got a decent um, permit getting ready to hit. Okay. Didn't you say there was somewhere here that you could catch a striped bass? Yep, right behind us. There's a deep hole there. I'll send you a mark. Okay. Uh, I need a striped bass. It has bass no too. finished fish standard on it. So if you catch a uni, I accidentally deleted it once, so I had to put the mark back. But if you get it, just send it back to me. Okay. I uh, hope all is well. How did I do in Q3? I left in like second or third place, and then I finished 22nd or something the last I looked. Oh, cool. That's what you wanted. Yeah, that's just, yeah exactly what I wanted, but it was a little closer than I probably would have liked, to be honest. What's up, David? Huh? I was going to get our dress so I could do my chores, but I thought you wanted a hook. Oh. Oh, why not? Yeah. Buzzbait and nymph oh, worked on that one too. That striped bass. Uh, I would throw cup bait in. You guys need to be good, dead streaming. Boy, that hole slows down once you start getting everything out. God, you think that freaking... Um, boy, you think that uni black or red would come out here soon. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I have two also, one for me and one for this. I'll oh, got you. I got a PS4 and a PC account because the boats and topwater stuff came on PC first. Yeah, I yeah that that part isn't against the rules. You can have more than a, one account on different platforms, Sean. Yeah. Um. But what the issue is is people are running them um, multiple accounts in each comp or each uh, or each um, crap. I was gonna say tournament or whatever it may be first time i have qualified should be interesting so richard if you go on the page we did the semifinals for oh, let's see semifinals for the world cats cup that's basically what you want to do tomorrow but with live bait and obviously with one poll the score isn't going to be as high as with all poles and you're using like cup bait and stuff so just keep that in mind but that should help you out, because I, I qualified pretty easily. On, even with a bad ending, I qualified. And at night, them things are a pain in the butt at Marin. Yeah, yeah. And it was only a month ago, so she didn't have to go too far back. Or two months ago? Might have been two months ago. Yeah, because I think the last one was World Bass. I have one of them. What are you trying to get? Oh, you need drums. Both of you need drums. That looks like a uni black to me. All right. Where's the black? Now I, just I think I got red. another gas tail on again. Friggers. This uni red drum's being a pain in the butt. All right. I guess it's a race to see which one of us can get it the fastest. Is that? Oh yeah, you need it now too. You literally caught the same size black drum as me too. Really? Yeah, mine was 83 as well. Mine was 83.3 is 83.1. I watched your spot video, What's the Weeping Willows? Sunny Mix, you didn't show hiding on the cop mix. Oh. 
That's one a friend gave me and I was testing out. The only actual mix I use is actually the Viagra one. Outside of when I do... Um, what is the one I use? Oh, I have a catfish one, but everybody has told me that the that new Super Viagra mix works on the catfish and beluga as well, and I did have two recipes for them. In reality, they're going to have to increase some count verification or... Oh, one second here. Data or pattern recognition. Yeah, that's true. Sixty-five feet for red drum and more right. Yeah, I normally don't have an issue with them. Actually, I should cast a little bit to the right. The problem is I don't want to get too much into the schnook and bonefish, but I guess I, could, I think I probably need a bonefish. And I actually think this is the day where they like the colors better than the black on black, but... And it slowed down just because I caught everything else out of there, so it's going to be slow for a while, but at least the next big thing to come on the poles will be the red drum. As long as it's not being a butt. Let me check my map, see where I'm even. Be something big and fancy, not a little. Oh. This is not big and fancy. This is the definition of not big and fancy game. Looks like a common black. It's okay, I don't mind getting extra cash right now. I'm kind of, I think I'm under $5 million again. I will try over a little bit. both a pain in the butt for end user yeah yeah like i said it's gonna be a tough thing to solve Praise for random bull shark. That would be hilarious. Yeah, see that we're eating the bonefish. Um, did I need that? Bonefish. No, I don't need a bonefish. Alright, what do I remember that? Oh man, it keeps YouTube keeps messing up for me. That'd be hilarious if I did catch a random ball shark here, though. Just completely catch you off guard. Bites you off. Stop and pulling comments back up. I uh, wish they would add another American lake that hold the world record as the biggest large one bass compared to the Amazon or Congo. Well, actually, as far as I know, actually, Japan has the biggest large one bass, don't they? I'd have to look it up again, but they have like a 25 pound large one bass as their world record. And i that's what I would like. I would really like a Japan map. I do, I do agree. It'd be cool if they had, like, every state. They kind of had one down the road eventually, and I think they will add that, and I think that will be the beauty of it.
Georgia is the biggest? Yeah, I think I gotta look at it quick. That's actually interesting. Here, let me pull it up. Did it, did it change? It used to be like 22 or something. Yeah, I don't know. It was when I rolled record large. It, it used to be in Georgia, caught by George Perry in 1932. Oh, got ya. Got a unique bonefish over here. You want me to send you that, Mark? Yeah, the current the world record is Lake Baiwa, Japan, 22.3. Is what they have listed. So Georgia and I guess they have it listed for both then. I don't know. They're both the same size. That's what it used to be. I mean, I don't know that it is anymore. California, there was a 25 pounder caught. Why does it say that's not the world record? It wouldn't caught legally. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, it has to be a tight. Okay, got you. Got you. It has to be actually a pound bigger. That's crazy. Huh. Yeah, let's see. 22. Yeah, 22. Four. And 22. The one in. Uh, yeah, that's why. It didn't. Uh, so the biggest one's ever caught is actually Japan. 22 pounds, 5 ounces. And the Georgia one is 22 pounds, 4 ounces, but yeah, if they're close enough, they wouldn't change it. it has, That's pretty cool. It, yeah, it has to weigh so much more. More to make it break it? Yes. Oh, the dotty was foul hooked? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't understand sometimes. But yeah, I mean, anyway, either way, if they had a Georgia, and honestly... That would be cool if Japan had a big one, too, because they could do it like how they have it as Michigan and Russia on Uni Pike. I mean, they both have big ones there, and they're both really a challenge to get there, you know what I mean? And that would be really cool if they did it that way. Oh, there's something. Oh. Permit. I should throw a single spoon. It would definitely help get. You know, I might try that one new spoon I got. Oh, it's only a 4 0 though. Hmm. I think the road should probably work pretty damn well for him. So that one in California is 25? That must have been the one I was reading about. Another comment. <laughs> That's crazy, though. Jesus. Yeah, up here, I mean, in Wisconsin, I think the world record is only like 11, but that's because it's more cold water. So, like, a lot of the cold water ones get huge here. You should test spot recipes with boilies and pellets and the method mixes because I haven't found one anywhere. Yeah, I don't really use them much because I don't have as much. Uh, I don't have as much luck with it. Them type ones. American guy caught and released the record trout last week was fantastic. Oh, I didn't even know that. I had a 56 pound cod that was huge. Yeah, I bet that was. The one in California died some po supposedly oh that oh I got you they found it dead. Oh, and I'm 
going way too high with this thing. Oh, oh you're on the Gulf of Maine? Oh, okay. So you probably some interesting fish there. Where I live is, uh, I live 15 minutes away from the world record muskie. And then, what else is decent here? I mean, walleye can be decent everywhere. I'm trying to think what else is decent here. Small mouse can be okay. Um, but pike and muskie are, and sturgeon, I forgot about sturgeon. There's other stuff here, like I didn't realize it till very recently, but like a quarter mile from me, the there's a 40 pound carp caught here, which is really weird to me, but, and then also lake trout, I didn't know we really had, because I never really go for them. I, I actually go for real life, I go for, uh, Blue cra I go for uh, bluegill and crappie. That's what I really like because I like fish, fa uh, fish frying them. Twelve miles from the ocean. Oh, got you. Nice. Surprised that roach spoon isn't doing better here, but I did fish it out because. That's the one problem is when you fish out these holes like this. You know what? Maybe I'll mix it up and I'll go to, uh, here, let me switch and I'll cast on your side. Let's see if I get that or the other side. Um... There we go. Carp fishing is nuts. Those fellas are a bit strange. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, Pala does it, so it would be really interesting uh, if people had questions because Pala does it in real life, and he does it a fair amount, actually, from what I can tell because he even goes to, like, France and stuff for carp and whatnot. What were you trying for over here, Grizzly? Should have been the... Uh... Oh, okay, yeah. I was trying it with the buzz bait and stuff just because I need needed it also. While I was waiting on the red drum over here, I was waiting. Did you get the red drum? No, I did not. It just got so slow over there, I want to catch something, so... And I shouldn't be using a 6 so I'm just going to make my bite rate slower, but oh well. Yeah, I was just throwing the buzz bait over here just to try to get the uh, stripper. I ain't caught a stripper yet. I caught plenty of bonefish, though. Yeah, I'm using cup bait. Bonefish. I got one right away on that, but... One second here, guys. That might be something decent. Uh, um, you should make a good rotation for Party of Three and Blue Crab. Are you talking about Mighty Three? I do have a video on that one. I think the bluegill are best fighting fish got three pounder down in South Carolina when I was a kid. Oh wow, that is decent. Um. Man, if you've ever fought a pike or a muskie in real life, that's, man, it's rough to for me to pick anything but a muskie or a, to be honest, a muskie or a northern. They're just, even like a little five pound one makes you think you're going to die sometimes. Oh, a trophy southern flounder over here, that's interesting. All right, see you, Ginger. I need those, too. Oh, God, yeah. If you remind me next time, I'll send you marks for what I have.
I normally, for the little one, I use it like a number six or a number eight normally. The bigger one, I use a 604. Oh, got it, got you. That's not really that far off. Oh, there's something. All right, have a good one. Do my Mariner University on stream? Actually, if you go back far enough, there definitely is a Mariner University on stream. For sure. When, oh, I might have got my uni red drum over here. Wow. Suck it, Grizzly! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to bring mine over here now. <laughs> yeah, just drop in. Uh, I didn't know they were here even, so I got to... It's right on that mark I sent you, by the way. Okay. I get this in, and I'll bring my other poles over here so that I can fish for stripper and. Yeah, you can get both of them. And the southern flounders here, too. I know you said you had that, but they're I, a cool I, little no, fish need, either way. I, no, I need the southern flounder. Oh, it's a gaff tail you had, I think. Yeah, I had the gaff tail. Yeah, I need. Uh, the red drum, and uh, I got the unique snook. Uh, I need all three southern flounders, common, trophy, and unique. Well, I just got a trophy here, so. And a unique striped bass. I'm getting okay. common stripers, but... Okay, I'm just going to jump on the boat, so to reel my poles in, and jump right back Yeah, off. that's what I did, too. Uh, so, when after they reset comp stance and whatnot, Marin Diversity was actually my first win. <laughs> Grizzly. <laughs> Dude, this is a nice little red drum spot, actually. I don't recall them being over here like this. Uh oh, something's stuck in the water. What is pole six? Oh. That's my other bottom rod. Okay, so I gotta move my other bottom oh, rod. Right Uh, the way I do it is actually later on Krellick I think has a video on it. That's basically the same way I do it I've only won three comps two first and Okay One and third. Okay. Yeah Come on game don't be a butthead Oh, no, you're going to play this. Okay, just fucking... We're going to do pole dingling for a little bit here. What are you? You're red. I'll let you be for a second. We have life choices to be made here. You're red. You're not very big either. They're all red drops. I might have to go up to the dock for the stripes. That's where I got it last time. Be on a bit. Are you going to be on for long? Oh, yeah, I'm going to be on for a little bit yet, Pala. Yeah. So these overlap uh, for sure, it looks like. Oh, there's a striper. I think this is a striper. This might be it right here. I'm not sure. Trophy. All right. Well, we'll, we'll sit here now. Okay. It, apparently, we just had to get the run drums out first. Hey, mark that grizzly.
Oh, and also why we're here, we got to do, I got to mark it. Um, one red drum, one unique, and we know it's now two trophies. Alright, and we can do that on our black one as well. Black one, black one. One U, two T. Oh man, give me a second. How to open web battle page in Fortnite. I have no idea. I, I played Fortnite for like five minutes and I was done with it. Um, I wish I had a better answer for you. Uh, let's see here. I'm cast out. <laughs> Grizzly. Did you send that mark, Grizzly? Uh, need them to bring back amateur cops because they got wrecked in my last couple. Oh, got ya. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with them. It's, they, it sounds like they're reworking them, so that might be pretty interesting. Uh, let's see if Grizzly. Okay, thank you, Grizzly. Oh, it's right on top of it. Okay, so literally... And we don't know exactly. Oh, this might be something decent. I see that come up out of the water, but not for. That's a red drum. Is this a trophy? Trophy. Okay, so we gotta. I gotta go ahead and look back and see. what the time frame was for respawns. Because this looks like another one, so that means it looks like two every half hour on trophies. Yep. Boy, that's a quick way to tell what respawn timers is. So if you guys want to know how I check respawn timers, this is a lot of the times how I do it. So we know the trophies are 30 minutes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, let's double check. I want to make sure that time is accurate. We caught it at 18, 18. Oh, I can't even go back far enough. Oh. God, I thought it was about a half hour. It's quick. We know that. I'll put 30 minutes question mark. Just so next time, uh, at least I have an idea what the respawn timers are for trophies. All right, let me get caught up here on chat, guys. Sorry about that. Then you do need, uh, and you just advance the pro or drop back down to, you know, I'm totally game with that. That's kind of what I did my video on, too. Uh, if you win more than four and advance to pro level, you're just in the same boat back to losing. Um, yeah, but there's a point where, too, where once you learn how to do some winning, that you kind of got to push yourself to the next level, too. There, trophy. See, that's the respawn, guys, for sure, because now, now the black drummer respawned as well. So... That's a pretty clear sign of when they come back. And we started uh, this day on, what was it? We started at 5, and they were probably 10, 15. Yeah, so they're 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. I recommend a fishing plant under suggestions to do purse. Yeah, that would be cool. Clans don't win everything. A lot of, a lot of, I mean, clans are decent, but, I mean, uh, like, I'm sure sick of people are, people are sick of me doing Salmon Clash, or Triple Trout, or, not so much some others lately, because I haven't had some time, but Come On Carp is one I normally do well on, and, uh, 
recently I've won a few of the Sturgeon and the Darks. I just don't have the time for comps like I used to, I guess. And a lot of times them guys are winning because they're putting their time into practice, too. That's another thing. While I did a video on cheating, I don't think it's a prevalent. I think it's a very, you know, smaller percentage, but it is hurting the game quite a bit. And I think... Um, I know a lot of teams that don't cheat, for sure. Um... Like, the three big ones on PlayStations, to my knowledge, don't cheat. Oh, are you a striper? That's a uni. That's got to be a uni. Hell yeah. Hey, Grizzly, suck it. I know it's smaller, but I got it too. <laughs> All right, we're not doing too shabby. We're picking up the ones we needed. Um, this is, whatever this is, is going to be sorely disappointing. Oh, it is not going to be sorely disappointing. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That was the most... Idiot statement I've ever said in the history of being me. And there's that's a long list of being dumb, too, that I have. Uh, all right, that's a new southern mount or flounder mark. Um, all right, I'm gonna put flounder and then bottom or float obviously then because I caught it on float and I know you can catch it on bottom or bottom that's interesting this is on this side a much better spot bottom oh my god what am I doing here alright so we learned some stuff and things so I think I pull the rods up and I put little hooks on and see if we can't get ourselves a little flounder. That's what I'm thinking, guys. I, I think I need the little one. What are the odds I got a trophy and a unique before I got to common? Lately, it's been happening to me quite a bit, in fact. Yeah, what an, what an idiot. I can't believe that. Did I catch that on cut bait or muscle? I should look. Yeah, we need a common, so let's work the mojo magic. I mean, how we haven't even really tried. We didn't go for tarpon at all, and we already actually made 60 grand. That's not too shabby. Um see what it was on muscle okay yeah so i'm gonna throw so if we need a little one oh we need to put a hook size on that and i'm gonna remember uh to put on that i, I would rather catch it on a 4 and not a 6 -0. i think that was more luck all right so then i'm gonna put a two on for the baby and we're going to rock muscle meat on all of them because it seemed to obviously select that guy right out the gate. For you guys watching, what is your favorite comp then since we're talking about comps? Mine is Sam Clash. I really like that one. And it's... You have some pretty wicked... I've had some pretty wicked runs on there. I did it 12 times in a row where I got second or first. That's that's a really hard thing to do on any comp. That is tough. We got a half an hour to get a little one before it goes to night. Let's rock and roll. Grizzly, if you're talking, you're still muted, by the way. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> figured. I was like, yeah. he hasn't said nothing in a while. I doubt he's been on the phone for that long. No, no. It was the Do wife you... calling to see if she needed to bring food. That flounder was right here, too, right on top of your mark with muscle meat. Okay. Oh, that might be it right there. The the one that I did catch was on uh. I cut think it's bait. it. And, uh, I know you can catch them on cut bait too, but yeah. No stupid guess. Because gas I'm still after the unique red drum too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Might as well keep it on cut bait then. Well, you can catch them unique red drums on muscle meat as well if you have it. Oh okay, yeah, I got it. Is this a common or another trophy? Is there two trophies here? Got it. Look at that. We are knocking them out quickly. This is not bad. If you guys have never done the catch them all thing, when you target a fish, a lot of times it takes you a little bit. But this is going to remind me of Texas. We did all of Texas in like, I think it was 12 minutes. Actually, we did every one of Texas. So we got that. And so what do we need? What do we have for big ones left? I think we have Trophy Gar. <sighs> Let's see. I think just Trophy Gar? Here yeah, Trophy Common Gar. We're good there. We're good there. All right, so we got Trophy Gar, and I gotta head back up to the dock for that. Um, oh, it put me in a different room. Oh man! All right. Um, do I have the gizzard chat here already? I do. Damn it. That would have been a fun one to go after. Uh, uh, what is going on, game? Every time I go into a new lobby here, stop. Say no to crack games. Oh, I got the unique southern flounder on a buzzbait nymph. <laughs> Did you really? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, well, if you didn't know this, Grizzly, believe it or not, on flounder and the gaff tail catfish, they really like the nymph. So you could even put it on a jig head into it, and for some reason they really like them. And that was in that same spot, right? Yeah, same spot. Yeah, all the marks hmm. are right together. Let's see. I'm gonna okay, put that down on the mic. Unique bonefish, unique striper, and a unique flounder, all in the same spot. Also, now, buzz. Now I'm just this. looking for that red drum. I, you, well, I need a common southern flounder, too. So. I just did a 2 0 on, on muscle meat. I got it right away. Okay. I'm just going to leave it for now oh, because no, I still need on. the red drum. And, oh my uh, god, my chat is going nuts here, guys. Sorry, if you guys are typing, it's being stupid. I gotta type to get it to update. Got the black. There we go, I got it there. Um. Still need the red. So, that, it'll come out there, too, so. 4 -0. we'll go with large minnows. We can do some cut bait as well. How's it going, fellas? Dude, this is a lot of fun, Whoa. Pala. Uh, we found a actually. we we found a new southern flounder spot. Uh, I was watching, yeah. Yeah, I saw it on stream. Right near the uh, mangroves, isn't it? Uh-huh. I got a black drum over here too. <clears throat> Kind of interesting, actually. I did not know that. And it, and it was a really good red drum spot. I mean, there wasn't nearly as much black on that side. No, I've caught two, but that's not what two I've caught. Just looking through my list to see what I've got left to catch. 
All right, so I need to go. It's all small stuff. Long nose car, Oscar, bluegill. Yeah, this is the last oh. big one that I'm doing, and then I gotta go grab little poles here. So, actually, I've got to do. I've got red drum to get. Uni. <clears throat> what so are you at, get... Pella? How many have I got out of the sixty-two? Yeah. Forty-six. Okay, so you're already still beating me. I've still got to get the striped uni, striped bass uni. It's Common right sunflower. Yeah, cool. So you just need to go down there, the the or, or the uh, down there on that end, then basically, Pala, because it sounds like everything you need that's decent size is down there yet. I think that's it, really. So it's the back side of the... I always forget what we call that. little The mangrove, mangrove spot, yeah. Come on, the back, back side. Yeah, so when you park, you don't hardly normally park your boat there. That's the side. Yeah. Oh, I see. There's a little deep gotcha. hole there. Oh, I've caught three blacks up. in a row now. What is this? Gaftail, are you really going to be this annoying? I said I needed you once, and now it's like, here, two pound gas tail. <laughs> here, two pounds gas tail. I don't think I ever caught a gas tail over here. And then I don't think we really need anything. Red bottom, unique, unique. Tarpon, <clears throat> you need black drum. Man, I don't need that many marks for that thing. All right. Bottom gaff tail, clam meat. Casting you think red drum and a common flounder is all I need from this spot now? You said muscle meat, didn't you? I think. Yeah, yep. Saltwater three. If you need any marks, pal, just send me a mark and I'll leave you on my list so that while we're here we can. Yeah. Pull that one up. We won't need that. Snug. Black. Oh, I guess I did have one that was close up. Permit. On crab. Oh, that's interesting. Free up some spots. This is a good way to do it. <clears throat> Crab. Red, black, calf's tail. Could get rid of this one then. I'll leave that one there. Oh no, I have a schnook mark to the right as well. Are you snuck? Yeah. <clears throat> can you send me a fresh? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you absolutely can. Thanks for all your videos. They helped me a lot with the game. Thanks, Kim. I don't know that I want to throw... I mean, I guess I could throw some, man, if I get a uni, though, it would be rough. Come on, red. This is a good one. I need the red. <clears throat> Turn the drag down. Well, I guess we're not going to do shit. Gonna snook on, I think. 
You sent me one? Okay, I okay. can. Give me a second. Let me throw. Got nice, it. Grizzly. There you go. Okay, now I just need that flounder. So now I'll lower my hook size, put muscle meat on. View all requests. Oh man, I have a lot of friend requests. Mu plain, plain. Duck muscle, you'll catch uh, crap here. Okay. Muscle meat. I can't believe these gar are being a pain in the butt. This is normally pretty quick. Alright, so I need to throw on my Kraken reel as well. I could just go to the back and get them quick too. Oh, no worries, Woodsman. No worries. God, I almost want to go do the Thunder Spin to slow it down even more. There's a regular, so I see the trophy. Gaff top. <clears throat> Come on, don't be a butthead trophy. Watch you get the UD first. You tried hitting. It's almost like the Kraken is a slow, a slight bit quick for him. Oh, pal, there's room in our room too if you want. Cool. I'm on my way now. Just getting some bait together. I would, if you okay. don't have muscle meat with you, I would bring it with, because it, it actually is working pretty good, and I've never used it here before. So uh, I'm pretty, I I think I'm going to keep that in my bag for good now. What's the catch in all of them there? Uh, just solid. It, it's like if you want a gas tail or a southern flounder or a drum, it'll pick them up. Hmm. Oh, and a guard just got my... I saw that shake over there. <sighs> so I lost him on a snag. Yep. I'm still to get the, uh, the the uni gar as well. Oh, I have the uni. I just didn't have the trophy or common. The uni gar I always get when I'm doing, like, uh, speckled. If you use a popper at all, you'll get a uni gar once in a while. And actually, the walker is not terrible. It keeps hitting them. I got a common on it. In the perch walker. I suppose just shiners or large minnow, isn't it? If you want. Yeah, that's what I got on my other poles. In fact, I got one going on insane. I'm, it just freaked out. So that pole's going to go ahead and go off here in a second, probably. Yep. And it looks like it's a gar. I can't tell. Yep, that was a gar. Got it. Southern Flounder, nice. That's all of them from here, anyway. W was that on a 2-0? Yeah, and the muscle meat. 
Yeah, it's like as soon as you drop down, they like it a little bit more. What are you doing, drunk red drum? You're not supposed to be there. Hmm. Okay. Now, that is that is a hundred percent a gar. That's got to be a gar the way it's waking the water like that. Oh, it's a bullfin. I'm an idiot. I should have known that. Yeah, normally the gars or the bullfins are the only thing that'll have like a weird wake around them when they're coming in. Almost like mm -hmm. an eel. How's it going, Antonio? I wish I knew what beautiful language you were speaking. I'm assuming it's Portuguese or Spanish. I don't know, though. Pal, I'm glad you mentioned blue crab. Well, it's because it was the only one I got left to do in, like, North America, so... But still, I mean, it's still... I, I It's been a while since I just came here and had fun, you know what I mean, so... Mm. So you're after the guard right there? Yeah, yep. Yeah. You can do it behind, too. Oh, man. I just need the trophy. I got all the other ones. The drunk schnooker being a problem. I might go to the back here and catch it pretty soon. I'm going to drop it to like 12. Sometimes I just hate a phone. Don't hook yourself on a tree. Oh, we got to drop that down. If you're a gar... I don't know what you are. Smuck. If I get held up on a trophy log nose, I will freaking laugh. Dude, you cut bait. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, I might switch over to cup bait, actually. I was using large minnows, yeah. Why That's what I'm using, but I'm getting a little of everything right now doing I've, that. I've, I forgot to forward the time. I'm, I'm like, really early. It's 5 p.m., I think. Oh. It's at the peak. Now the bonefish are getting involved. 5-0, still good. Yeah, you could use that for him. Nah, I just need the uni. Same. <sighs> Drunk ass bull old fish. I think I'm gonna I might move to the back here in a second. These, these, everything else is taking it. And you normally go to the back and not have to worry about it. Must be this weather pattern that's more of a pain. It's, this spot isn't normally like this. Normally you can get it pretty quick. Somebody's got an X3 slider out there. Yeah. Is that you, Pella? Yeah. Are you for real? Do you, do you need a titanium leader? Okay. You should, but if he's in a heavy pull, just turn on your drag a little bit. Okay. That's what I do. 
power. <laughs> that gas tail's been drinking again. <laughs> it's interesting because they're easy here, but at Florida they're much tougher. You see where they're all bubbling up over there? That's where I'm having more luck than out farther on that mark. Did you get that on bottom? Uh, float at like 10, 10 inches, yeah. Gar are a pretty shallow fish. So I just need bass related and, oh, and little fish. So... Well, let's go after bass since Okay. And it switch me rooms again. It says you left. It does that a lot. Yeah, let me see if I can get back in with you guys. Pax and a mark. Oh, Pax is here too. Actually, if you guys want to join this room, Pax is in here. I, Pax, are you watching the stream? I think Pax is watching the stream. He just sent me a bunch of marks. Yeah, he did. He, he saw us going for guard and he went to town. Thanks, Pax. Um, I think we're going to go catch ourselves some bass. Uh, let's put the spot back on. Let's do a little foro and maybe a little worm. Oh, and it's, God damn it, it kicked me out. Oh my gosh, game. Hey guys, I'm back again. <laughs> <laughs> I probably look like a crackhead to the other guys that are watching. Are the other guys in the room they're like, what the hell is these guys doing just leaving and coming back all the time? Whoa, not where I wanted to go. I bet you there's a UD here or something, though, but I want to go this way. Oh, alright, we're just, we're gonna do whatever the boat decides to do, I guess. Alright, I think. Mark. Mark. Alright, we'll do boat over there. Oh, come on. Pal, your mic is doing the weird ass shit. Oh, not quick. Yeah, pal. Yeah. It's doing exactly what Ian's was doing.
Oh, he thought it was you just kicks you out once in a while? Yeah. No, nah, it just, it does it. It's a crackhead deal. Actually, I think I used a frog over here, too, or something. Yeah, X3's frog worked pretty well. Well, we kind of need a little bit of everything, so... Keeps hooking on the bottom though. Hmm. Maybe I will try the popper then. We will do. Release the Kraken. You know, I did like one day of bass fishing here once, and that was it. I've never done a lot of bass fishing here, and it's a shame, because I'm sure bass look really cool. Yeah, they are cool, isn't they? <clears throat> The speckled are cool, too, but they're not worth much money here. They're totally hmm. different. They're totally different between here and Amazon. Amazon, they're worth like four times a month than they are here. Four times, wow. Something crazy. Speckled peacocks are... Yeah, I know they're highly paid. Uh, they're the highest per pound in the game that I know of. Man, I did a video on the money rates, and I can't remember what it was. I think speckled at Amazon is the highest in the game. Per pound. Oh, something's getting ready to bite. We had a space astronaut fish. Can't tell if that was a bullfin or a big bass. Hmm. Part of me was butthurt that they reset the all the species and I had to re-catch them all again, but part of me is like, you know what, this is kind of nice to get just go sit at the lake and do stuff that you don't normally do. Refreshes you back on making sure you can catch everything in the lake. Hmm. Okay, I'm back. Boy, this frog has been kind of a dud, actually, though. Yeah, this is kind of cool to get to catch them all again. Have a reason to, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I've actually been working on it for a little bit again, but um, I got sidetracked for the last little bit.
I had caught them all before they done that, and I hadn't, I'm, I hadn't caught them since, and just ain't, but it's actually pretty cool. I was going from low level up, and I was at Louisiana. I think, obviously, I'll probably continue back on that. There's only a couple I need out of Louisiana, but. I think I need, like, all the small fish everywhere. Apparently, they are not liking that. Hmm. This gar is giving me fits. Yeah, the, that, for some reason, it is pretty finicky there. Otherwise, um, right here on the back side of where you guys are at is, uh. Yeah, I have a spot back there, too. Okay, otherwise. It's I'm normally not there. that difficult from here, no. is it? No, uh-uh. That's the thing. Kayla, I don't see you on my friends list anywhere. Do you want me to send you a mark? Oh, there you are. I, I found you. Kai, you were down there quite far. I forgot it's Friday everybody's on. Something little. I think I need it, whatever it is. Yeah, needed it. Alright, on the bass, what do I need? I got that one, so I need a bass. Okay, I just need the unique on the butterfly. Large mouth, I need every one. And shoal. I need the large mouth in the all. show. Yeah, I need everything on the large mouth in the show. Okay, I'll just move again, game. That's perfectly amazing. I'm so glad you did that. <laughs> Good talk, Fish Planet. Oh yeah, but it, it's working decent now. Trophy. Oh, Brian is unloading the camping trip pictures. That means I have Monday I can do the camping trip video. So they're a little, they're mid-water here on the bass, which is interesting. I thought they'd be lower. Well, I guess it is middle pressure. It makes sense. There's something decent. Trophy speckled. I did not expect to see you here, sir. So, for you guys watching, what places, what places are you fishing at right now? For you guys watching, kind of curious to see where you guys are fishing at. Boy, they definitely like the bass jig more than the frog popper.
I know the largemouth, I can get out in that open section, so I'm not so overly worried about it. It's more right here is about that show bass, because that's really the only spot I know about it. I didn't have other couple spots, but... Oh my god, my wife just sent a picture and uh, apparently my truck killed a bird on the way home. I didn't even I didn't even remember hitting it. And then for you guys watching, um as well, the Call of Wild streams will be back. But when we have a tournament week, we'll only do it if we have the ability to. Just, oh, Blue Crab. Oh, yeah, I see you, Pac-Man. <laughs> Just completed Everglades Refresh. Now on to Tiber. Actually, Tiber was a lot of fun to do the refresh at. Um, I did a couple there already. And that was, actually, I might have done them all now at Tiber, actually, I think. But that was, Tiber was a lot of fun. It did more of a challenge, for sure. 26 days left at the Congo. Oh, nice. Brian Scott, at Tuba. That, Brianna, nice. That is one of my favorite places to go and one of the most underrated places in the game. Especially if you spotted. I'm playing Hunter Call of the Wild still. I got... Oh, unique largemouth. Oh, that is a disappointing unique largemouth. Um, that's, I guess, a unique, though. Fresh bird, throw it on a hook. Yeah. Dude, pike would take it. Where I live, you will see pike attack ducks and, uh,. Bald eagles, I haven't even seen... So I've seen a bald eagle... This is going to sound like I'm lying and I'm not, guys. Last last year we were fishing, and I'm 100% telling the truth. i seen a, a bald eagle dive down on the ground, or dive to the water for a smallmouth bass, or a largemouth. I'm pretty sure it was a smallmouth. And as it dove down to the smallmouth... A pike jumped and got it. Um, it got away, but still. Like, dude, that's an epic Wisconsin battle when you think about it. A pike versus a bald eagle. Some crazy ass shit. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. Oh, I just got all my large ones. Is that a bird that you took a picture of? He didn't hit the radiator, did it? No, it's just a tiny bird. Was it a hummingbird? No. Oh, it like duplicated on me. Holy crap. No, it's just a... Look it. It's just one of those tiny little ones. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Yeah. Uh, Okatash... Wait. Okinkush 92, level... 8011, good to catch for the moment. Oh, got ya. Pike is telling me his mate, swear to God, it was this big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, J or Y J D. Pumpkinhead? Oh, 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 oh. Were you in the other room, Jan? I didn't even notice that. That's crazy. Must have been a big hungry pike. Dude, pike are vicious. My, musky are vicious, but people don't realize there's a big difference between musky and pike in real life. In 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 real life, musky are super calculated, and pike are just evil little bastards. Like um, 
and the crazy thing is Pike are like Muskie are smart enough to like I think it's been a few years now, Kelly. When but when how many years ago was it that Muskie took the dog? Oh, I don't remember. It's gotta be like six years ago a Muskie took a dog off a of shore here. Like popped yeah. out of the shore and grabbed him. It's a little toy poodle or something like that, but it I mean still, you know what I mean? Muskie are more calculated. It's, which is weird because they're so closely related, you would think that they want. But that's why musky are more of a harder catch than pike are because they're not... I mean, you could throw a lot of stuff in and get a pike. I mean, Rex came up here and almost got a pike, which is saying something, you know, because we didn't even know what lures to throw. Oh, a uni butterfly. You know what? That's interesting. Actually, let's take a look at the price value here on the butterfly. Uh, large mouth and butterfly, fifteen hundred. Oh man! So the butterfly is worth a lot more here than the large mouth. Interesting. Boy, the large mouth aren't actually worth that much here. I right, show bass. Show your face. Brianna, what uh, platform do you play on? And uh, what are you going for at Russia, by the way? I'm, it's intriguing that you're at Russia to me, so kind of uh, that sounds dumb, but I'm one of the few people that really like Russia in the game. A lot of people don't like Russia. I'm definitely not one of them. I'm, I'm I do like it quite a bit. Oh, this is a decent. No, that's not that decent. Uh, I thought it was a show bass. If that's a show bass, that would have been a unique. Chubb, they don't need to hear your car noises. It's bad enough they have to listen to Dad. They don't need to listen to Dad and Dad Jr. You have information. You got the bow fin down. Fuck yeah, now do I? <laughs> As you say that, you just curse me, pal. I just got a bullfin. <sighs> do bullfin get unique here? No, they think they only get trophy, right? Yeah, they only get trophy. So I'm going to have to make a video on that. So as I go through, I have videos on every unique, but i got to make videos on trophies and anything that doesn't get the unique. So, so bluegill here. So I'm going to practice some. I bet you switch his lobby. Oh my god, am I... It's almost like I know. Informa do you have information for Japan? Well, I don't have... Well, it's... I don't know. If you're talking about the game coming out in the game, I have no idea. I don't know nothing about what's really getting released. All right, I guess we're going to do that. Jesus, pal. You are not lying on the bullfin. No, he's catching bullfin. That's for sure. Big mouth buffalo. I think that guy's trying to catch all fish in the lake too because I've noticed him. He's been going after different things. I think he was catching warm mouth earlier too. All right, we might try another shoal bass spot because this spot is being kind of a a bummer here. Got it. Was it, I saw it was unique. Was it the long nose? Yeah. What'd you catch it off of? Five volt. Uh, large minnow. Can you mark that and send that to me? Yeah. I'd rather have that mark than that one that's off a little bit. No, Job! No. Go! 12 inches. 12 inches down, yeah. Uh, let's mark that. Send this to Dave. Is there another... Got the gizzard, yeah. I needed that. <laughs> Actually, I think I need the, the uni gizzard chat as well, yeah. What did you get out on the uh, grizzly? Uh, mayflies. Just, I mean, right in front of you. 
right in oh, front I of saw you. your float actually. I was wondering <laughs> yeah. why it was there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was like I looked underneath my rod stand and I thought, fuck this, yeah. that's his float. Uh, hmm. Five, thirty down. I don't think I have my old show bass marks. Oh, there's one. Bottom. So it's out and just to the left. Interesting. We might try that in a minute. Grizzly. <laughs> That's unique guess, tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't need that one. Pros, pack, Pella. Oh, never mind. You caught it right on my mark of the other one. Okay. You could actually catch them to the left in the corner right next to that a little bit more, too. It was to the left, okay. Mm hmm. <clears throat> All right, I'll have to remember that. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. I play PC through Steam. I enjoy fishing for a bit of everything, mostly going for big pike and cats. So I don't know if you if you've ever tried it, but casting spoons up there near the bottom at Russia work okay for pike. They're a little picky up at Russia. And cats, I always use frogs, because if you use frogs for the catfish, you won't get beluga. Tuna is coming. Oh, that would be cool. Love that you get rewarded for this now. I've completed all the U.S. lakes in Maku Maku. Nice, Lance. I'm kind of going through and making sure on every Friday we kind of, like, we're going to go through and just catch more fish as we go. So I've been kind of trying to pace myself on it because I don't want to redo it all in a week either because that wouldn't be fun. Uh, for you guys that don't know, I've actually recaught or I've caught every fish in the game now. This is my third time through now <laughs> doing it. I did it once uh, for videos. And I did it once just to do it once on my own. How's it going, Bo? You know, this show is kind of being a pain in the butt. Is that the only one we has left? On the bass front. I have a marker for one of those. I'm sure you do, too. I have two spots for him, it looks like. Yeah, I don't have any show bass yet. All right, let's see. All right, it's going to move me rooms again. Oh, look, I called that. Oh, did you sneeze, Kelly? A while ago, yeah. The chat is saying bless you. Oh, thank you. I use your videos for 90% of it, so technically you've done it five times. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh. Well, it's, it's, honestly, it's, I, it's kind of tough just to go somewhere in the dark and not know what you're doing. I really enjoy it, but if, if a person is like, you know, maybe they have a real busy job where they only got maybe two hours a week to fish, uh, it, that's, that's a really tough thing to just try to go somewhere and expect to be really good without help, you know, so that's a big one. Well, that might have been a show bass right there, actually. So, there's always one fish in a lake that slows you down, and it looks like this one's going to be the show bass. I, I might... it's this. Gar. <laughs> yeah, the gar's being a pain in the butt. That one's not normally that bad. How's it going, pros? Hello. Hey, pros. That is my exact situation. Oh, I got you, Lance. So you're saying, yeah. Yeah, so for a person like you, it's really hard to try to go find your new spots and stuff. All right, we're going to move. We're going to go to the other shoal spot and see what happens. Uh, me too, playing after work. Oh, God, yeah. I'm shocked, though. It hasn't been a... 
hasn't been a challenge all along. It was, but you, it, so, alright, so if you guys are looking here on this thing, back in the day, these used to be, like, gray and white. You could barely tell when you had them, because when you caught them, they would be gray, a slightly darker gray than the white. So it's really hard to tell if you'd got them yet. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to switch rooms again, because it's Fishing Planet. <laughs> <laughs> Am I back in with you guys, or did I leave your room? I oh. finally got a gar. Yeah, you're in. You just joined. All right, good. So I got to make sure I don't go to my menu again. Okay, trophy. How's it going, I don't pros? I need it, but I'll take it. All right, how about you? Not bad. We're just fucking around at Blue Crab. This is surprisingly a lot of fun, actually. It is. Yeah. So I've... I have a question for you, Dave. Uh, no, I will not make out with you. <laughs> um, <laughs> four O's and five O's still catch the a trophy catfish, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think yeah. you have to go down? Yeah. It's really yeah. quick at the beginning, but it like in the saying messages, it gets it dies at the, at the end. Oh. Like I'm talking, it's like night, night catfish semis during the day so dead one thing if you're gonna do one pole with one run what i would do i know this sounds crazy but just try it once uh, i have it work on sturgeon so i know this is gonna sound ludicrous what you what i would do is is do your first run on one bait if you have another bait that works well switch your baits pros and see if it works it works at california so on Surge yeah, in the was, Dark, I, my first run, I do huge cup bait, and then I do Denver Bar in my second run. Yeah, I was thinking of, of switching bait to my run anyway. Not using, like, which... Like, I was thinking of doing Bandit and Large. Yeah. Maybe a Shiner thrown in there as well, but... Because all three of those baits seem really good. Like, yeah. Really good. Oh, so the Large Minnows got a little bit better for you than yeah. they were the first... Yeah. I, I don't think they're better than Bandit or Accu for me anyway. I think they might be yeah. for everyone else, but for me, I don't know. Yeah. It's just like, it... kind of like the roach spoon at White Moose. It seems like you're always better with the medium spoon, but me, I always do better with the roach spoon, kind of thing like that. If you're, if you're struggling, like, we know the rotation's solid. We know that for the semifinals. What I would do is, I don't know if I would go let order in a 5 0 and just try to get what weight you get. You know what I mean? And remember, if it slows down, I know that sounds crazy, but the left side of the, you know that left side spot I said you won't want sorghum? That yeah. spot, when it's bad, it's normally pretty good, if that makes sense. Yeah. What do we got here? Oh, it's an, another largemouth. Not a good time, largemouth. Okay, maybe it's like okay time. If you're unique, I'll take you. It's not like we're doing bad on uniques. We've caught a few uniques just messing around here. I wouldn't be as I wouldn't be too worried about that one, pros, especially just because we know we're solid there and we always have been. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not that worried. I just I just want to try stuff because I know it's dead and Ginger proved it at the end. So now I'm curious. Maybe dropping it could get you a couple more pounds at the end. Yeah, or uh, if you have a, if you have a bad start in this, you're pretty much done. By the way, it, the, by the way, this tournament goes. So normally, it's slower at the end and fast, like, or slower at the beginning, faster at the end. It's yeah. the opposite in this one. So it's like if you have a bad start and you fall way back at the beginning, unless some miracle happens, you're you're done. Did you go try that one spawn point to see when it slows down if you can get stuff there or not? The spawn point. Yeah, so the night spot. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't even think of that. So if you guys are wondering, that's pros in chat. He's, they're all practicing for the semifinals, which I gladly don't have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, even on the semifinals, though, I would have only done one practice run for the semifinals. I'd be like, okay, yeah, this is what I need. I'll figure it out from there. I'm gonna do one, well, probably one more tomorrow before just to 
lock my thing, my, what I'm going to do down. <gasps> That's a show bass. Hope for the best. Dude, pros, have you caught show bass in a while? They're pretty cool looking. Not in a while. I was thinking about coming there and fishing for half hour. Because I'm not going to really do much in half hour, so... Show bass is a dude. That is a pretty looking fish. I forgot how pretty that is. Pella, oh, you got your common. Now you got your trophy. Now the next one needs to be unique. That's the only one I need. There, surprisingly, gizzard shads. Once you do them once or twice, gizzard shads are super easy to get the uniques on. You should watch Rex come here. Rex murders some gizzard sheds here. It's hilarious. <laughs> That might have been my uni right there. I didn't see what it was, but it was big. Is there anybody any more inf info on what clubs are going to consist of at the update? No, that's a super good question, Lance. Um, I'm going to check tonight again and see if there's any new info on it because I'm up on... So everybody is super pumped about the new waterway, and I, I'm not saying I'm not, but I'm actually more interested to see what the clubs and the anti-cheating entails. I'm more excited for that than I am anything else. Competition catching seems to be light, lighting fast. I've been a lot of work to do. Oh, got ya, got ya, got ya, got ya. It looks like me and the show bass may have a war. I need a common and a unique yet. I remember when I first caught the shoal bass, the first bass I ever caught was a unique. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the same thing that happened to me right here. And uh, you know that bark pot? Yeah, yep. I fished. I, we were just talking about that. I only fished bass here one day. And then oh, I just, I never cool. did. Don't worry. You know, I'll leave it again here in a second when I go into my <laughs> menu. <laughs> it's been kicking me out every time I look at my menu. Oh, I just flipped oh. the boat. I, I need to I back my no, board up. I'm gonna have to <clears throat> get a better time. What's your weight? What did you get you on your first day for weight, though? Um, 1,055.232 pounds. Not shabby. So, Rex's mother. Oh, man. <laughs> that ain't nice. Lance, the idea of being able to fish against other clubs or against each other sounds like a lot of fun. Totally agree. My nice. worry my worry with clubs is they're going to either invest too little in it or invest too much. If they, they can do it both ways. If they make it where club ranking is super important, I mean, they're going to kill a lot of things for a lot of people if you got to fish in a team to do well, you know? Yeah, the, see, that's why I moved back. I was getting little nibbles right at the boat. I might even move back a little bit farther here. What are you using for this show? Um, honestly, I have a casting spoon as a mark, but Busby, or I mean, um, the 4-0, do you have the one ounce 4-0? I guess it don't matter. The bass jig? Yeah. Yeah, that with the nymph has been working good for a lot of the bass. I just got the unique largemouth for his cast. <laughs> yeah, I got a 6.9 uni largemouth, and then I, I got a 10.1. Like, how crazy is a, that? Because I, I don't I think nine, they get much bigger. I got a 9.2. That one even, this yeah. Where they should, this is where they should have a bass tour, but not with the speckled. Freaking throw just in roll them out. largemouth and butterfly. See, that I, would you be know, amazing. And I totally agree. I actually think, um, I don't know if show bass are real bass or not. Like, I don't know if they're part care. of the butterfly. No, I agree with you, but. <laughs> Neither are speckled, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm not. They're all called, well, I keep forgetting the name that they are in. Give me a second. Um, they're like perchids or something. No, chill, yeah. chillids, that's what they are. Yeah, chillids, yeah. And then, uh, so what? 
shoal bass. Oh, it might actually be a bass. Yeah, it is a bass. Okay. They are really cool when you ca catch them, though. Here, look at my bag. Let's see if I get a close-up view of this bad boy. Hey, are you going to... Thank you. They look darker when you catch them than that. No, that's definitely a bass. It looks more like a... I'll be honest, so it actually looks like a smallmouth bass than it does a largemouth, though. There you go. What was it? Oh, Trophy Gar. Trophy Gar, yeah. I need the unique. Now. Otherwise, you could go just like you're fishing peacock bass and or uh, speckled bass, and on a popper you'll get one. I was gonna say I haven't worked on a pop major popper. I'm kind of curious because I haven't major. tried the topper here yet. Maybe the topper is pretty good for fish here. It's good for speckled chalk, always said. <laughs> The team aspect is a tough on half of the people, but friends list live. Oh, we got something. Hold on. Oh, it looks bullfin related. Yep, bullfin related. Um, second. In the other side of the big pond. Oh, got you. I think shoal bass is a cross besides some kind of... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. I should look. It might actually say what it is. Besides an asshole that won't come out. I'm sure it has that in the description, too. Slightly related to the Univogo Xander and the fact that it doesn't want to come out. Actually, this isn't really that bad. When you sit somewhere for days at a time for a fish like the Univoga Xander, it gets a little tiresome. It's got the trophy. Yeah, the tro I need the common and the uni. You can join now if you want, prize. Someone just left. Alright. Yeah, that way I can see where you are, too. Oh, you know what, pros? Can you do share screen quick? I want to see if the stream can see share screen. I haven't tested that out. That'd be cool as shit, though. Alright, give me a second. View and multitask, picture and picture. We'll put you up here. Perfect. Oh, they cannot see it. So on my screen, guys, we're at the very top middle. I have pros. Yeah, you are exactly where I was, pros, when I started over there, too. Yeah. Oh, a bullfin. Trophy Ooh, bullfin. I hit. You should, you should, if you get a chance, see if that topper does anything over there. I bet you, that, I've, I've never tried them on bass. I don't know. They might work good on bass. So, right where the sun is for you guys, up there, that's where pros' screen is for me. Yeah. I, that's the nice thing about PS5 with the share screen thing. I am not super hooked on that. Maybe they're up higher in the water and I'm just going too low. Maybe that's what's going on. Game was started by pros for life. What in the fuck? Oh, your controller like, died? The controller died right in the midcast. Pros got a second account called Pros.
damn, this spot sounded glorious, and I got a trophy right away. And it's been a poop show ever since. Oh, you know what? I think I remember where there used to have a mark. I bet ya. If I remember. I think there was one. Yeah, right. Oh, wrong button. I think there's one right here. One time fishing pike at St. Croix, I thought the game had lightning, but I think the water glitched out. It looked like really authentic, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. And actually, there was. That bug is gone for me, but you guys remember with that lightning strike sound that it used to do? Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I'm not even a jumpy person, but the one time I had my headphones on loud, it scared the bejeepers out of me. <laughs> Well, I like the sound of floral lion when you catch a fish, a big fish. Mm. So I had it cranked all the way up so I could hear the floral lion. And it did that lightning shit where it just, like, freaked the fuck out. I think Some of the I... rain weather, they should have thunderstorms in some of the rain weather. Oh, yeah. All right, so there's a bass here. Actually, was it here or? I know it was in the mouth of the river. It may have been up here. I don't, I'm not really too worked up. I'll try here for a little bit. Oh, real quick, I'm gonna have a cigarette though. Does it ever do that to y'all? The beeper's going off, you see your float going out across the water, you pick it up, and there's nothing on there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, how many misses am I gonna get? Fixing to go try somewhere else. Okay. Large mouth. Buffalo and large mouth over here. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. So you guys on stream can see me, but I... 
somehow shut off my TV when my butt was getting off the bed. <laughs> 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 Google it, show bass is a, a, on its own, not across at any time. Oh, okay. Should have that monster pike out, jump on, grab you. Yeah. That'd be nice. So, for you guys watching, too, I just got the pictures from the camping trip. So, I guess technically on Monday or Tuesday. Well, it would be, I guess, a kind of a face reveal. I never put my face on here before. I never, intentionally not. I just wanted to save you guys the anguish of my Sh Shrek-looking face. Um, but... Not a Shrek uh, And you'll see Rex and Brian as well. All right, pal, enough showing off now. I'm at the, the other spawn point. Yeah, the, the little deck. Oh, really? You're on the dock? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I just got something okay. Uh, it's not that okay, I guess. I don't know. Be something cool! It's not a bullfin. Oh, I think it's a largemouth. Yeah, it's a trophy, I think. If I was a guessing fool. I just need to quit playing this game. <laughs> hey, pros, that's how you get fish. <laughs> that's the day I just did two pros. All right, where are you? Oh, it switched me rooms, of course. Oh, that's interesting. It just says palace cheating on my screen. That's all it says. Doesn't say nothing about trophy show bass. Oh, over here? I don't think I've ever fished over here for him. What mix do you use for danger in the grass? Same thing as Super Viagra. Yeah. I actually was going to make a video on that comp, but I haven't had time to do it again recently. So that was actually going to be out next week, but. I gotta actually run that again. Oh, Pala, you might have found the show bass spot. I'm choosing a black major popper. Five it's, it's been a long time for me, so what hook size would y'all recommend for a big mouth buffalo? Four oh. Four oh. Yeah. They they don't have they they might be big mouth for buffalo, but not for anything else. God damn it, pal. I come here and I get a large mouth. <laughs> oh, I see where you're casting. Okay. Looks like you got another shoal on. I can't tell. Nah, large mouth. Oh, it's a large mouth. They're, oh. they're out. They'll be on the bottom, right? Bald eagles that steal your catch. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Oh, you can get them on float rod as well, can't you? Is it, um, oh, I didn't even think to try show bass on a floor. <laughs> I've got markers for them. It's just been so long since I've fished for them that this is I don't a remember fan. how to. <laughs> Techno right, plantain, isn't fire. it, I think? For the big mouth buffalo? Yeah, yep, yep. I think if you don't have it, you could use corn as well. Corn? Yeah, corn works. Yeah. Oh my I, god, I've, corn. I've got a little bit of everything. I use it for everywhere, no matter what weather pattern. Woodsman. Yeah. It sounds like, though, after this update, you have to remake it. Before you can do it again. Pella, I'm not saying you're lying to me, but... <laughs> but you're lying. It feels like you've gotten into the business of pros on timeshares. 
timeshares. Yeah, pros were selling timeshares yesterday to me. It was fraud spots. <laughs> I had somebody to blame and you weren't around, so pros took the point of it. I tell them, I feel like I, I, I was at, I was sitting at Selva and I was not catching any fish and I was telling pros, I feel like that I bought, I got conned into buying a timeshare from you. <laughs> Damn it, they're nibbling. Is it possible to fill a bigger net like the 925 with a smaller fish in one game day? My old 440 would take me almost one day at Emerald with three floats and no lure skipping. Um, oh, yeah, it depends on what lake you are on, but yeah, for sure. I don't know what lake you're saying you want to fill a 925 up, but you could, but I wouldn't worry about, oh, I think this might be another largey. Yeah, these are this getting one. ridiculous. No, yeah, I came over here for this, the shoal bass yeah. seminar that you were hosting, and... Because your video, you showed a cloudy California mix. I was wondering if I needed to use that. No. So them other ones that are listed in the video, by the way, guys, them are just ones friends have given me, and I've tried testing them out to see if they're better than the one I happened to. Now, you guys are probably like, oh, you, you just like your mix. No, I just accidentally run across it when I was making mixes, and I was trying stuff out, and it worked. And to be honest, it's worked everywhere we've used it. It worked good in the carp tournament. We won the carp tournament. And we won the Christmas Giants tournament with it. So, that was a bullfin trying to steal your shit. Yeah, I saw it. That's the nice one as well. Looking big one. Oh, an Oscar, I needed that. Show bass, I catch it in the tiny channel blue crab. Yeah, that makes sense. I should go back to where I made the video on. I just wanted to try some new spots. I mean, obviously, I know I can catch it there. I've caught it there before. And I think I caught, like, three there really quickly. And that's why I did a video on it. What in the world? Ooh. You're going to be so jealous, pal. Check this shit out. <laughs> that's a nice one yeah <laughs> that just don't happen I'm trying to go too low don't you do it oh you don't even know Pala you don't even know well, I know how to do the video about how to catch garbage here. <laughs> Crayfish. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, pal. You want to mark that one, Dave? Yeah. I need to make a video on it. How to catch a unique crawfish at Blue Crab Island. How to get hooked while trying to catch show bass. No. A red sunfish. I needed that too. I really feel like I got carved into a timeshare, pal. No. I might try off the other side of the dock, too. Oh, and then I get one. I know this is a show. Yes, I just need the uni now. Mr. Pinchy? Yeah, that's what I call it. You need crawfish, Mr. Pinchy. Pella, I think they're closer in. Like, I, I keep casting out yeah. really far and keep getting larges. I wonder if they're not closer in. Yeah. 
Yes, new PB. <laughs> That's how much I fish for this. Oh, suck <laughs> it! Do we oh, both get yeah, one? Man. Yeah. Mine's Do we really? Mine's bigger than yours, though. Catch all species of form a unique. Oh, that's right, Pala. You don't even know. <laughs> you don't oh, know that's yours, bullshit. Yeah. Yours is bigger. Yes. <laughs> Trophy. I got another one I needed. I demand a recount. Hey, that Pala. Was the top off. Mm. Will you will you mark it quick and send it to me and see if we cast in the same area on that one? Okay. We gotta do some science here. That was on a, a bass jig and nymph in the middle. Okay. Mine was on the top of the black and red one. Four. Up. So, what day are you on, Pella? Are you on one or two? Oh, okay. So, I'm guessing, <laughs> Pella, we I may have just figured it out. Show bass. All right, well, that makes sense. Pala, actually, I think you mm. want to go top water on the day that you're on, and you want to do mid water on the day I'm on, because I'm on a low pressure day. Yeah, I'm on, yeah, mid sort of. And I'm just going to switch lobbies, because that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just for a yeah, change, you've yeah? been doing that a lot. You're good at it. Okay, what else we got? Okay, yeah. Uh... Oh, and it's not even kind enough to put me in a room with someone else. <laughs> Ooh, I need that one, bros. What hook and bait for the craw? <laughs> yeah. Let's join the party. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now it's not even cool anymore. I got my exes. What's the bait? Exes good for where are you at, Pros? Oh, you're right next to us. Yeah. This is my other unique shoulder mark spot. Oh, got you. This is not a bad, terrible spot we're at. I think once I figure out not to cast this far. Oh, yeah, yeah, pal. Yeah, I'll send you my mark. Check this out. You can be like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Pal, 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 pal. There you are. Interesting. So we all caught on different stuff. What day are you on, pros? Are you on day one? Two. Two. And you got it on what? X series Buzzbait, X series Glowcrow. Near the top or middle? <laughs> it was just above the middle. Alright. Topper, okay. That's interesting. I'll have to remember that. Alright, so... Dude, I want to take a look at this bitch. And... That's a fancy fish right there. I really like the way they look, honestly. Not so much in the picture like here, but when you catch them. Pros, you drunk son of a bitch. <gasps> <laughs> I see you coming. <laughs> wow. Alright, you guys saw it. That was an attempted murder. <laughs> Trophy. Wait, you need, a, you need a unique largemouth grizzly? Yeah. You're the only one that hasn't caught 45 of them then. Uh, I've got... 45, I think. I need a striper. I don't know what that oh, is. Oh, alright. Hey, pros. Uh, you know the orchard or the mangrove spot? Yeah. Alright, throw to the back side of that. I just sent you a mark. Wait, I think I sent you a mark. Did I send you a mark? I just sent, did I send yeah. you a mark? Right. Yeah, me and Dave both caught one there earlier. Yeah, and... And if you want, there's Southern Flounder there as well. And yep. uh, Red Drum. Bone it's a good fish. Red Drum. Yeah. Red Here, I'll send you them red other red ones drum. too because I got them. And me and uh, Grizzly figured out the, half, the respawns on them and what there is in each spot. So 
Um, there you go. Because I'm guessing you're going to need both of them, aren't you, pros? I got the red drum, but I, uh, I don't got the flounder or the bass. Oof. I got a big mouth. Game gave Dave a timeout, yeah. Canel, the best fishing planet. You Thanks. Welcome back, Canel. I think you were you were in stream yesterday too, so that's cool to see you back. Did you? Do you? What do you need for marks for big stuff? Because we just went and got all the big stuff again. I've got forty-seven of sixty-two. Oh, I, I meant pros. I know you're good on the big stuff now, basically, right? Grizzly, there's nothing big you need left. It's all uh, little. The only big thing that I need, I need a unique show bass, of course. And yep. a trophy Oscar and a unique largemouth. Some aren't uh, very big, though. I'm talking like 40 plus did. pounds. Yeah, that, you that see no, I, I'm did? good on big stuff. Yeah, what's up? There used, to be, there used to be flounder in here. Oh, got you, got you, got you. You still can, but there, it's not as common in there. Well, I tried there earlier, too. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You're on the back side. I haven't tried there. Never mind. I lied. Yeah, I, I used to have a mark there, but I got rid of it when I was when I don't ever fish flounder again. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I was watching his stream there for a second. Oh, I'm going to switch fucking spots again. Oh, nope, I didn't. Okay. Um, do you, hey, do you come to the, if you want, come to, uh, Grizzly, come, or you can go to the other spawn point, and then I'll send you a mark for that show over here that, where basically all three of us just caught it in this area. Okay. Dude, this is a blast. What do, so what do I have left then? I have... Both bluegills, both brown heads, channel, golden shiner. Oh, I think the trophy Oscar is a pain, if I remember. It's either yeah. trophy Oscar or the red ear. But them are all back on the on the X on the lake, if I remember right. Let me check. What hook size did you use for the uh, for the flounder? Straight bass. Oh, 6 -0. And then you can actually catch a flounder on that same thing. Was it muscle meat, innit? it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Ah, uh, and then for the stripe, you can use large cup bait. But you can get everything over there, I guess, basically a muscle meat and cup bait. Oh, yeah, sea worms. That's what it was. I remember now. All right. I, I only have my fucking uh, catfish baits and like sort of tournament with on me, so I have to buy stuff. And there's no large cup baits, so sea worms it is. Yeah. All right, for you guys watching, I didn't even realize that we've been streaming over three hours. And before I do my next set here, anyway, I have to switch all my poles to little stuff. Yes. So for you guys watching, I am gonna end it here. Thanks for the great stream, guys. It was good to see a lot of you guys show up today um, and good conversations had. So I will see you guys next Friday for this one. And if you guys do Call of the Wild, oh, wait, no, Fishing Planet. I got to make the Fishing Planet on uh, Monday's league too quick. Have a good one, folks.